You've received the RFP for the program and you want to connect with the meeting planner and ask some impactful questions, but you also want to respect that they are busy people and you want to ask the right questions. We're going to go over a few questions that you can ask your meeting planning client about their RFP today in this week's two minute tip Tuesday. It's Leanne from LeanneCalderwood.com and when you receive an RFP, your first point of action should be to connect with the client and make sure that you understand the parameters of the RFP correctly. But these meeting planners are very busy people and they don't have a lot of time to go over answers that they've already included in the RFP. So we've got to find some questions that are not in the RFP to kind of get their attention, maybe get them thinking a bit, and most importantly, let them know that you are keenly interested in this program and want to dig a little deeper. So we're going to go over some of those questions. The first question that I love to ask, and so should you, is what are the goals and objectives of the program? So your meeting planner should have a solid understanding of this. If they don't, that's okay, but at least you're asking the question about at the end of the day, what do they want to get out of this program? Secondly, what are the demographics of the attendees? Sometimes your space lends itself towards different kinds of people. So find out what kind of people are coming with this RFP. Thirdly, ask the meeting planner how they define success for this program. This really gets them thinking, but it also gives you information on how you can propose the space that would lend itself to a successful program. Fourthly, is the program more academic in nature or more networking and social in nature? You're going to have a different layout that speaks to those two different formats. So find out which one it is, and then you can outline the strengths of your space based on those two objectives. Fifthly, how often does this group get together? Is this an annual program or is this a quarterly program? That's going to help you with selling your space as well. Sixth, what has been the most successful format of this program in the past? And along with that, number seven, what kinds of new things are you looking to try with this program? With the answers to those two questions, you can again outline the strengths of your property as it relates to those answers. So those are seven questions that hopefully get you thinking about how you can approach meeting planners once you get their RFP. I hope you enjoyed this week's Two Minute Tip Tuesday and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.